Hey everyone, this is Dylan with Frontier Precision, and in today's Tech Talk, I'm going to show you a new tool found in version 5.80 of Trimble Business Center called Extract Geometry. So this is a, a scanning tool uh, for extracting common geometries in your point cloud. So you can see I have uh, this crosswalk here. I want to extract each one of those rectangles as quick and efficiently as, as I can. Um, I've gone ahead and actually extracted this row of rectangles manually. Um, you know, that took probably five to ten minutes or so to do each one of those manually. I'm going to show you a technique with this new tool that will allow you to draw those much faster. So um, you could do this in 3D view or plan view. Um, so you can see here I have already um, classified my point cloud. I've removed a lot of the junk within the intersection and I'm just looking at my ground. At this moment I'm going to launch the extract geometry tool which is found in the deliverable section of the point cloud ribbon. And one thing that we need to do is set up the shape of our rectangle. Okay, so you can either draw the shape um, or you can pick an existing shape in your in your TBC project. So uh, if we go ahead and create a shape, that just launches the Create Polygon tool. You'll want to make sure that it, it automatically connects the ends. Okay, so I have it set to Always here. And I'll begin drawing in my shape. I'm going to hit all four corners of my shape. And if I was in um, plan view at, at the moment, you'd actually be seeing that drawn in. Um, and that's just basically, uh, you know, your 3D view showing an elevation of zero. Uh, so if we're in plan view, uh, you'll actually see that shape being drawn in live here. Um, okay, so now that we have our shape drawn in, we'll hit close. Now we have our shape, and that is the shape that's selected. We can choose to, um, if in fact you have uh, shapes that are mirrored at all, or need to be rotated, you can go ahead and select these two checkboxes here. Uh, now we're going to pick a point on our next um, feature that we want to extract. So the operation is pretty simple. You're going to pick a point, and it's going to update the intensity. You can you can choose to change the intensity threshold at times you might need to do that um, then you can put the shapes on a specific layer and you can choose to create the geometry automatically this is basically to allow you a QA QC add or discard option um, we're gonna create them automatically here so the last thing I need to do is hit extract you'll see the shape drawn in there um, then I can go on to the next one so I'm just gonna click on the next Hit extract, go to the next, extract. You can see I can do this pretty pretty quickly. Um, rather than hitting the extract button, you can just go ahead and hit the enter button on your keyboard. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw each of these next shapes in. Um, actually, let's back up. You see this uh, shape wasn't drawn perfectly. I'm gonna hit control Z to undo. And let's just try picking on a different point on that rectangle, hitting enter and that might tweak it just enough um, to adjust uh, the rotation of that shape. So let's finish up this crosswalk. And this is definitely a lot faster than drawing each one of these in manually. So there you can see I have all of, uh, all of my rectangles drawn. Um, I'll switch over to 3D view so you can see what that looks like in 3D. Um, so each one of those rectangles was drawn and uh, essentially draped to the point cloud. Um, so they are at true elevation. The only one that is not at this moment is, is this one here, which was drawn with a polyline uh, at zero elevation. So if I want to draw that one in here, I'll just click in my pick a point box, click on the rectangle, hit extract. And there we have it drawn in in 3D. So that's the workflow with the new Extract Geometry tool. Of course, you could use that for other purposes, um, but essentially just trying to define specific shapes of objects with uh, with a certain intensity uh, to be able to draw in uh, those shapes uh, much more efficiently than uh, manual methods.